Hi, my name is Mary Wingo, and I uh, am making this video from Ecuador. And once again, I, I really don't quite know where I'm <laughs> at. Um, I'm south. I'm in southern Ecuador, and I, I mean, I'm not near the Peruvian border, but um, I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. Um, I, I guess I'm a little bit lost, but uh, I'm in this place. They say it's called La Paz, and uh, you talk about just a hole in the wall. <laughs> but I, I really like um, I really like this this climate. You know, there, there's many many microclimates um, in Ecuador, and this particular one kind of reminds me of Texas a little bit, except like the plants are different. <laughs> but no, you see the incredible sunshine. And it's a little bit arid, and it does. It reminds me a little bit of Texas. But what I wanted to talk to you today is um, the effect of an unequal society um, on the human stress response. And you know, you're thinking an unequal society. Um, you know, I I thought stress was caused by traffic and exposure to bears chasing you in the woods and you know yeah yeah I mean that's that's true but remember stress is all about adaptation um, it is a mechanism from which we adapt and if we did not have this mechanism for adaptation we would indeed be in really really big trouble and the thing the thing about unequal societies you know you might ask why I bring this up because this is the one of the five um, causes of stress um, in modern society. Okay, so we got four other reasons. And in any way, we're, let's talk about unequal society. Um, let, let's think about you know we we all know what it is and we probably live in one. Um, but what what exactly does it mean to live? in an unequal society. Well, let me, I'll give you my thoughts. Um, an unequal society is where um, resources can get really, really hard to come by at when you're on the bottom rung. And not just that, okay, but you're thinking, well, Mary, I mean, you know, the stress response affects people basically the same despite what society they're from you know I'm like yeah you know so so the poor of a affluent society is still is going to have a tremendous amount of stress um, I, just as the poor of a less so-called less affluent society and yeah it, it's there's something about being the bottom guy in the totem pole that inherently um, makes people sick and kills them young especially men um, and what that is, is when you're the top guy on the totem pole, you can pretty much, for a lot of things in life, there are exceptions, but a lot of things in life, a lot of stress in life, you can buy your way out. You can hire your way out. You can finagle your way out. When you're a bottom guy on the totem pole, the odds of these type of things, these opportunities coming to you are a lot less. And so there's a good chance you're going to have to experience the stressors of life st straight on. You know, you can't hire your way out of it. You can't um, finagle your way out of it like someone higher on the totem pole can. And this alone, w when you're having to respond to stressors in this environment at a greater frequency, you have to, s your body assumes a more plastic, morphological stance, okay? So, um, you know, you're, you're one way before, and then you meet a stressor, and then you have to adapt. So your body has to change in order to fit that stressor. I want you to think about that. You know, we all know, I mean, our grandmothers could have told us, probably did, you know, to really, really watch the stress. You know, stress will kill. Well, well why, why is that? Well... When you're put in situations where you constantly have to adjust to stressors and you're more 
apt to have to be assume a more plastic morphological stance in order to approach the environment well when you are more plastic that means you are less strong i mean in many in many ways i mean as far as you're more even more vulnerable to the environment um you know a, a perfectly running body a human organism of any, any sort you have to have a proper ratio of defensiveness to the environment and openness to the environment and stress when you're having to adapt you're having to be more open to the environment and when you become open to the environment you can become open to all kinds of things when you're more influenced by what the environment brings I mean you know sometimes this can be really good but sometimes this is the last thing you need okay and so unequal societies it's not just about being the broke guy on the bottom. It's about not having the choice and power over your life and then having to basically placate the powers that be um, a lot more than you would have to if you were higher up on the um, socioeconomic um, realm. Now, needless to say, um, we've been seeing a lot of uh, revolution stuff on the news, right? All over the world. And I watch this stuff closely. You have to think, what, what is actually the cause of revolution? And, you know, you have to go back to, you know, it usually comes down to people losing their resource, their standing, um, maybe losing their resources such that they can't even feed themselves. And um, the system is as such, it squeezes... Um, the profits out, you know, where it's on the, the rich guy's side of the fence, or maybe it's just more uh, competitive. But for whatever reason, you know, when people can't do basic family formation, they can't move into like the the trials of adulthood. You know, they can't can't afford to get married, can't afford to buy a house, can't, um, you know. This tends to make people want to fight for their life because that's what basically what's happening. Um, you know, when you do lose your power in life, um, you do you do become you know way 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 more vulnerable to having to contend to what life throws at you. Okay, and it does. It depresses your immune response just totally you know throws everything out of whack your endocrine response I mean there, there's a whole whole series of things that happen but the big takeaway is is unequal societies are extremely toxic and they're causing a lot of problems and a lot of extra cost this is a preventable stress and um, this is that's basically all I wanted to go over today. I'm gonna enjoy this beautiful day. Everyone's out on Sunday, I guess. I guess I'm not too lost. <laughs> anyway, have a great Sunday. I know I will.